Exactly. Do a healthy one of that. Exactly. So there's so many uses for the jam and it's even great on toast. Good. Can't wait. Yum. I'm a big Yum. jam fan. Love it. Thank you, Nicola. Um, we've been getting a huge response to our chat earlier on about lost traditions. Uh, Mag says, my head jumps now when our house phone rings. I always think it's bad news. I think the art of a long catch up over the phone has gone too. I remember when we used to ring our English relations every Sunday night, but with text and emails, we never did that anymore. And it's a shame. It's true. We have one person. There's only one person in the and it's a family member who actually rings the landline. We don't even have a landline. We don't have a landline either. Yeah, well, we were talking about getting rid of it and all the rest of it, but um, um, the, the family joke was, is that, what if we get rid of that house? So and so are going to make contact. Uh, no, they're not elderly or anything like that, but they just, uh, for some reason or other, they, they, they use that line. Yeah. I was going to buy Eve, it's uh, Eve, uh, her birthday, her first birthday on Saturday, and I was looking in Smith's. I was going to buy her one of those little old school phones, you know, that dial that yeah. we all have. Yes. And I was like, what she'd be like, what's this? I know. I know. know. Well, it is. There's I know. It's just a finger in yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved that phone. So did I. The Fisher Price. Absolutely. Old school. But birthday like cards. It. Christmas cards. Yeah. A dying tradition. Mm. And Lucy says, I would use the doorbell. Why would I Why would I text? I would also send birthday and Christmas cards. Facebook is so impersonal. I also send, send mass cards when there's a death and uh, the personal touch mm. is appreciated and actually shows that you care but you yeah. know what i actually got a lovely card um from one of our guests that wrote, was on to say thank you just you know for for being on the slot whatever and i appreciated it so much it's a lovely handwritten card it's like really because nice. you know the trouble that kind of takes and you know just yeah. very thoughtful appreciated it so photos much photos and photo albums everything yeah. is online now it's all in the cloud <sighs> yeah now i do print them into the photo books i do love the photo oh, do book. you? yeah oh, yeah, I don't nice. even know where to go and find. I've got been. To, you, who does that for you anymore? With your local pharmacy, chemist? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, or you can just do it on online and. Yeah. Yeah. Where you go into one of the things you hand over? Good gift ideas you now, Mark. You know what you're going to get. You're tonight. telling an order from the beginning. <laughs> no, it's all right. Thanks, thanks very much. <laughs> Let's go over to the Virgin Media News Hub now. Here's Siobhan Bastable. Good morning. After arriving in Ireland yesterday, the US President Donald Trump is set to depart again shortly for the D-Day Memorial in Normandy. Well, our reporter Eric Clark is standing by at Shannon Airport where President Trump and the First Lady Melania have just arrived in the last few minutes. Eric. That's right. Uh, just 15 hours after they stepped off the plane and set foot on Irish soil, uh, the First Lady uh, Melania...